These are five ways to make life-changing money using what you already know. And you can start today. In part, it's because there's literally never been a better time. A study by Upwork shows that 60% of people who started their own business now earn more than they did in their nine to five. Plus, because 40% of Americans now have a side hustle, buying from freelancers is more common too. But how you take advantage of this depends on what your goal is. So let's break it down. First, the easiest and highest profit way to start, no matter what your skills are. The cool thing is, you can also make way more than $10,000 a month. One of my favorite examples is this business that makes over $21,000 a month. The owner has one main skill and it's not anything you'd expect, playing video games. But even though Mark Meese is a great video gamer, that wasn't making him enough money on his own. So he took it a step further and this applies to you too. You can productize your knowledge by selling it as a service. This is also the easiest business to start because people are basically just buying you, your experience, expertise, and knowledge. That means even if your marketing and business skills aren't that great yet, you can still make plenty of sales. Plus, even if you're just starting out, you can and should still charge a premium. But Mark learned this the hard way. When he started, he did something a lot of entrepreneurs do. He charged just $5 for his personalized gaming feedback. But after selling out his coaching sessions, he was burned out and so was his bank account. So he raised his price to $20, then $100, and finally to his current price, $350. The important thing is you can do this no matter how ordinary your skills might feel. Just because it's easy for you does not mean it's easy for someone else. For example, I hate planning vacations, but Kim Smith loves it. In fact, she's visited 63 countries on her own. When she posted photos of herself traveling, people started asking her, how do you vacation solo? Now she makes close to six figures a year teaching others how to do that. If this sounds like something you might wanna do, I have a video that goes into a lot more detail on how to productize your knowledge as a service, essentially some sort of coaching package, and I'll link that above. But if you're thinking, I don't feel confident teaching anything, don't worry, you're not alone. The good news is you don't have to be an expert to have $10,000 months, which is where this second idea comes in. Using your skills to do things for other people. And it doesn't have to be a unique skill either. For example, if you love planning and organization, which a lot of us do, then you'll love Kayla Sloan's story. She didn't have any official training, but she was good at organizing but she figured that was enough to help people as their virtual assistant. So she started doing things for her clients, learned what else she needed to on the job, and now makes $10,000 a month. There are so many other ways you can do this. For example, you can also create websites for others. Plus, there's another huge benefit to offering a done-for-you service. Often, your clients will have a recurring demand for it, which means recurring income for you. Since I started working with my own site designer, shout out to Laura Patricelli, almost nine years ago, I've been a monthly retainer client ever since. And the beauty is you can turn any skill into a done for you service. So don't overlook skills you might have that no one else has yet recognized as a skill. My favorite example, and this is a true story, is the woman who became the real life version of Katherine Heigl's character in 27 Dresses. It started because all her friends wanted her to be their bridesmaid, but it wasn't because she was so popular. Looking around at the other bridesmaids who created trauma and sucked at supporting the bride, she realized how rare her natural ability to be supportive was, which is how Bridesmaid for Hire became a business that now brings in $5,000 to $10,000 a month. But you might still feel stuck because you might think you don't have any skills worth monetizing. So let's talk about a skill everyone has. Most people just don't realize how valuable it can be. In fact, this one skill alone helped two college seniors make millions. The first step of any business, you've got to identify a problem. For these guys, it was that news outlets were publishing dense stories they just didn't have time to read. Your next step is to solve the problem, which is exactly what the founders of Morning Brew did. 
They started a newsletter to share bite-sized summaries of the news for their fellow students. Eventually, their audience grew so large, advertisers were begging to sponsor their newsletter. When you hear stories like this, you see people at the top of their game with staff, funding, and resources. But at the end of the day, it was one simple skill that got them there, writing. You might be thinking, I'm not the next Stephen King or JK Rowling. Neither am I, but I've still built a multi-million dollar business, mostly by writing a daily email newsletter. Building your own business by writing has never been more attainable than right now, because we have something that no one has had for hundreds of years, agency. You don't have to wait for a publisher to tell you yes. You can just click send. But if monetizing a newsletter isn't your cup of tea, there are tons of other options to profit from your writing skills. Ghostwriting, blogging, or copywriting for other people's businesses. Plus, platforms like Upwork and Fiverr make it so much easier to find clients these days. But if your goal is to have more passive income, you might wanna consider this next option. It's harder because you do have to get good at several skills, marketing, selling, and teaching. But if you're willing to put in the work, the outcome can be life-changing. That's what happened to Kat Norton when she went viral on TikTok for posting Microsoft Excel tips. She realized people needed help and she could help them. So she did something you can do as well. Put your knowledge into an online course and sell it. My favorite part about this option is that you can do the work once and reap the benefits for years. High five to that. Plus, the possibilities are limitless. Kat's income from her courses quickly exceeded her salary from her full-time job. But don't worry, you don't have to go viral on social media to make lots of sales. I've had plenty of clients get to 10K months with a teeny tiny audience. If you wanna know how, I'll link a video sharing how I created and sold my first ever course for $8,000 in just a few weeks back when I had zero audience. But if an online course sounds way too overwhelming right now, that's okay. There's actually a shortcut that has the same benefits where you create something once and sell it infinitely just using a different medium. For example, this baby sleep consultant sells workbooks to help new moms. Or you can also borrow an idea from your school teachers who probably use this to create your high school curriculum. Sell a document template. Teachers do this all the time on platforms like Teachable, so you can be the resource for your industry. If you're a whiz at Canva, you can make templates of social media posts or design kits. Actually, if you're a whiz at anything, you can sell a template for that. Like Thomas Frank, who doubled his income when he started selling his Notion templates. And if you're more artsy, sell digital copies of your work. It's how Dylan Eakin makes a living from his art. You can also make PDF downloads, digital planners, or even Lightroom presets. But none of these ideas will help you if you don't know what pitfalls to avoid while building your dream business. That's why in this next video, I share the simplest and fastest way to get to seven figures without making these mistakes.